This is an Arubi. This is my first dev blog ever. And it's about my summer project of 2022. I'm creating a simulator of the uh, fire of a fire engine, more specific uh, of the pump panel uh, that uh, simulates all the intakes and outtakes of a fire engine. Here you see a couple of photographs of what I'm trying to recreate, uh, where you see the big yellow hose as the intake from the hydrant, and then the controls of the pump uh, of the fire engine and the outtake handles. This is another one, because we a bit more specific of the fire engine. And the last one, you see they all have a common a lot of dials and some pull push uh, rods to adjust the, the outputs. So this is where I'm, uh, I'm at the moment. Um, I have an intake valve over here that you can open. Now it's open, but nothing is connected. And now uh, the hydrogen is connected. Later on, I will add an event or um, sort of radio system where you can radio the fireman or woman at the hydrogen to open uh, the hydrogen with the wrench uh, so you can get water intake. At the moment, the hydrogen is connected and is providing water. So now we can fill the booster tank. Um, at the moment, it's empty. If you pull this handle, and this is what we see um, like here, the uh, blue panel on every engine, uh, they call it the Christmas tree, uh, that indicates the le level of water that's in the tank in the engine itself. So it's, twin, it's the red light is coming on, so it's more than 25% fill at the moment. The colors are terrible at the moment. You cannot really see if the light is on or off, so I really need to uh, adjust that one. The yellow has just come on, so now the tank is 25% full, and now the green is on, so it's 50, 55%, three quarters full, and so on. Um, then let's go to the pump controls. Um, you have two modes in the pump control, the RPN mode, and you can switch to the pressure mode. Later on, I will add a panel before this one, so you, yeah, with the, the typical yellow handle, so you can switch um, the gearbox from driving uh, to the pump. At the moment, it is already in, in pump, uh, like, uh, and we don't have any uh, RPMs, but you can adjust this one, and you will see over here the master output of the of the pump is slowly rising. Also, they are not quite convinced about this uh, LID simulation. It isn't quite readable as I want to. Uh, going to change that one. Or you can change from RPM to pressure mode. Um, I'm simulating bars at the moment. And you see you can, uh, the readout is wrong, I see now. So we can adjust the output of the, uh, of the pump. And last, you can uh, pull the different the, the discharge valves um, so we can put pressure on different D charges. I'm not planning to add um, discharge valves like I did with the intake, but also using sort of a radio system where uh, the fireman will give a message to the pump engineer from charge line two. So we know you have to put pressure on uh, on that line. Uh, maybe you, can, you need to change uh, the pressure before the different lines, if it's a one and a half or two inch line or something like that, or the difference by the nozzle. Um, but I will see later on how we do that. We also have a pump to tank valve um, that doesn't do very much at the moment, so I need to code that also. So that's where I am at the moment. I'm only a couple of days in the projects. I have uh, still a few ideas how to continue. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you have, have, have some feedback, um, it's much, very much appreciated.